with this video, I'm gonna talk about some incredible, incredible miracles that I caught on camera.
these miracles every day you want to work at it just cleanse more connect more invite more in like invite the heavenly realms the angels you know jesus to come in and so this is what i want to talk about with the miracles so at these times i was really inviting yeshua in to show me show me the truth show me the reality of of things suddenly in my mind i saw this goblet and then i physically saw it with my eyes sometimes i see something in my mind right before i physically see it and it said like take and drink my spirit jesus obviously was like i got this essence to like let the holy spirit flow through me right after i saw that goblet it was like whoa and for several days i didn't eat or drink anything i felt so good and people would ask me all over town like what are you celebrating? You're like, what's going on? Because I, I, I was so dressed up, I was so excited. I felt like it was, it was just like something amazing was happening. <laughs> I was just like, I just had this experience. And I was like, I am bursting with joy right now. And so after I was filled, after seeing the goblet, I was told that week I would be working with water, buzzing healing water, also um, that I would be, go through this water blessing or like a baptism. And that made sense to me because I was baptized as a kid, but it didn't at all feel like I was like really spiritually baptized. It just felt like this fake ceremony in this hypocrite in church. And I didn't at all like the experience. I didn't like the pastor. <laughs> I just felt like he wasn't with God. No one felt like they were with God to me. I knew I had these gifts. I knew I had this connection. And I felt like anyone who actually had a connection to God, they perceived as like there was something wrong with them. So I could never even talk about my gifts. Um, you know, and they were gifts from God. We all came from God. So a week later, I found myself in by a lake, taking my daughter to the lake, and then Suddenly, uh, I had I was sitting in the grass, but it was like itchy, so I got in the water, and it was suddenly it was time, and I felt the presence of Jesus and the Spirit, Holy Spirit, and this blessing, and I had this stick in my hand that had floated to me, so I was like, kind of stirring the water and just like, wow, like I am feeling so good right now, like I could feel it sparkling and flow into my body. And there's kids all around me. Like usually I'm just like, ah, like, no, I can't, I can't do the crazy crazy. But I was just like, I couldn't feel the sun. I was like, I cannot even feel the sun right now. Like what's going on? I feel so good. And I just felt, you know, the sparkling through my body. You know how the Holy Spirit feels. It's like it's just like mm. it's like cleaning you. And um, yeah, I just felt like I was actually truly being baptized. And it's like, this is it. This is the real deal. And I don't have to have some pastor around. I mean, I, you know, it's like Jesus' presence. That's all you really need. But I know the church has their customs. So anyway, as I am, as this is wrapping up, my, I'm holding this stick like this for some reason. <laughs> my daughter comes and grabs the middle, so I lift her up as high as it can go. And then the stick breaks inside was a cross. And that's the picture of it while the stick was still wet. And I was like, wow, I have, there's proof right there. And you know if you've been watching me, I mean, I, I have so many physical experiences and proofs of, of spirit, of God, of um, miracles. And... I don't know, it's like almost anything I want to see, I end up seeing it and catching it on camera. <laughs> so that was amazing. It's like, wow, I have, a, I have a souvenir from my baptism. <laughs> Last year on my Instagram and Facebook, I posted two things that day about seeing the face of God and ask, you know, declaring for a miracle that day. And literally one showed up, you guys. So. It was just a few hours later, maybe later that day, but there was a rainbow going directly into a giant Christ statue. And this is when I was really like connecting with Christ and asking for truth and 
show me what I need to know. And that day I asked for a miracle. And I just feel his presence right now. I'm just talking about it. But um, yeah, <laughs> I was just amazed. What adds to that is a week before, I saw a video just like that with a rainbow going into a giant Christ statue. <laughs> and that made me cry. Just watching that video, I could feel it. I could feel the presence. And that video was also showing the miracle of the sun, a modern day one, which I didn't even know about. So here I am getting amazed at this video, this proof of God manifesting, Jesus manifesting. The miracle of the sun, which was prophesied to happen at that location, and all these people came and they saw it. Kind of like when I moved into this amazing house, and people would come up and like, "How do you live here? Like, you're so lucky to live here. It's like the best house in town." I, was like, I thought so. Like, it was my favorite house in town. But spirit guided me to it. Like, I would go on walks, and then suddenly I'm being placed for this house. Like, wow, whoever lives here is lucky. It's like the best, most awesome house. I didn't. I didn't know it was vacant. I didn't know that was my future house. But one day I was on a mountaintop and I was just declaring, uh, I was ready to move. And I was like, okay, I'm declaring a, uh, to move into a great house. And so I'm on this mountaintop and there is a fuchsia, which I have never seen colors like this. I've never seen a sunset like this, well, this color. Not only that, was it just the brightest most vibrant fuchsia you could ever imagine. If you can just imagine it, because even the picture didn't do it justice. It was a big V or an arrow check mark pointing at the house. <laughs> Say, yes, you have victory, you're gonna live here. It's kind of just telling me a lot of things all at once, but I just knew, you know, I always get signs about the spirit is great. It's, they always leave me feathers. And, signs and messages and clients will see my name in confirmation like they might have something good happen and it's like it see blessings flow through me to you all like that I know people who they almost have a demonic system going running they're in prison their thoughts are negative their manifestations are negative everything just seems to be haywire in their life I'm trying to tell them all this stuff but they're like oh yeah yeah it doesn't they don't believe in it. I'm like, I have thousands of stories. How could you not believe in it? Like, there's no coincidence if out of, you know, all the years of my life, the instant I declare something, it happens. How is that? It's not a coincidence. And then I do it again, then I do it again. And sometimes, because I have the protection, because I have God and the angels protecting me, if someone tries to come at me, and I disapprove of what they're doing, they will get instant karma. I've had to find experience in people, and instantly everything they're doing stopped. Um, spiritual warfare is real.